Hi, it's Dr. Padilla, and today we are performing a mild procedure. A mild procedure is a minimally invasive lumbar decompression or percutaneous inner laminar decompression. It's performed through a small five millimeter incision. Through that incision, we put a small tube to the inner laminar space to treat spinal stenosis. To treat the spinal stenosis, what we're doing is using different tools to try and debulk a thickened ligament that's behind the spinal canal to try and relieve some pressure and create a little bit more space in the spinal canal. And today we are performing this procedure on an 80 year old male. He has tried multiple epidural injections, physical therapy and not having any relief. He's normally very active even at 80 years old and is frustrated because now he can only walk about 20 feet before he starts to feel pain. He does have some relief of his symptoms, which include low back pain, heaviness in his legs, numbness, tingling, and weakness in the left leg. He's able to alleviate some of these symptoms by leaning forward on a shopping cart, which most people with spinal stenosis will experience. With his age, being 80 years old, and his other medical comorbidities, he wanted to do something that was less invasive than a lumbar laminectomy or a inner spinous spacer implant, so we opted to proceed with this procedure. We are doing the procedure for him at L2-3 and L3-4. He has moderate stenosis at L3-4 and mild to moderate at L2-3. Typically to do two levels at one time, I'm still able to do that through one incision. It will take about 20 minutes to actually perform. It can be done under local anesthesia. Most people will opt for IV sedation. IV sedation is light sedation, like uh, similar to a colonoscopy, and you go home the same day. There's typically no staples or sutures involved with that incision. We just put some steri strips and a dressing on top of that. We just have patients avoid submerging in any water for seven to 10 days. I always remind people that includes submerging in hot tubs, aquatherapy, lakes, pools. You'd be surprised.